Now this is the Mark 1 and the one advantage this has over the Mark 2 is extended battery life via this external power bank. But the Mark 2 here is a lot simpler and lighter and cheaper and more easy to reverse and more compact and I'm sorry I didn't come up with it sooner. So let's check it out. <music> As a base, I'm still using this Picogen HE-099 revolving lens cover case. It's a two-piece case. It fits the iPhone pretty snug. Now all of these revolving lenses are fine, but I'm not gonna use any of them. You could use the wide-angle lens it comes with, but corner blurring isn't good. This macro wide-angle lens combination from Anker is of very high build quality and corner blurring is almost non-existent. This is a Glyph smartphone holder and this is an Etiteach ETG001 3.5mm 4-pole to 3.5mm 4-pole adapter. Get a little rubber band of approximately this size. Simply apply the adapter to the Glyph. Now you need three mini ball heads. Make sure this knob doesn't wiggle because this could possibly be picked up by the audio. Make sure these parts are removable and remove them. Now take one of these quarter inch to quarter inch adapters and apply them to the Glyph. Just for now it's sufficient to apply the mini ball heads to the Glyph like this. Third crucial part to the setup is the microphone. This one comes with all kinds of gadgetry, but we're really not interested in that. What we're interested in is this microphone. Not the ball head though it comes with, because again, this is too wiggly, so get rid of the ball head it comes with. Now there's a couple of cool things about this microphone. Number one, price point is good. Number two, build quality seems pretty all right. Number three, it is directional quality audio. Number four, it has a quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom, which is what makes it all work. Screw it into the third mini ball head, make sure it sits tight. And now before we Proceed, let's put the whole setup on the monopod. Now, of course, this mic jack plugs into this end of the adapter. And to connect it to the phone, we need this Apple 3.5 millimeter to lightning adapter cable. Of course, the one end plugs in here. Now this whole contraption needs to be placed a little different so this can be connected to the phone. So let's open the glyph again, take the phone out and move this like almost by 90 degrees. So it sits somewhat like this. Put the phone back in, move this up a little and connect the whole contraption to the phone. So it looks somewhat like this. The mic does come with wind protection, like this little foam wind muff and this dead cat. The best wind protection for these kinds of mics comes with the Rode Video Mic ME or the Rode Video Micro. It just fits perfectly. All we gotta do now is put it into the right position. Make sure the audio adapter cable is in a good position. If it isn't, just move this around until it is. Start with this ball head, continue with this ball head and make this ball head the last one to adjust. Might have to take off the puffin again to do it. This actually looks just fine. The internal audio quality of an iPhone 7 is pretty damn good, especially considering that what you're listening to right now has been recorded on those tiny smartphone microphones. Still, it cannot compete with external directional quality audio. Let's switch to the shotgun mic. And quickly, it's obvious why it's a very good idea to use external directional quality audio when vlogging or shooting video with the iPhone. Your voice is much louder, much clearer, and the shotgun mic will do a far better job than the internal audio in picking up your voice and to some degree excluding surround sounds, which overall will make it a much nicer experience to listen to your videos audio. There you have it. Great quality, external audio, a lot simpler than the Mark 1 setup and reversing it is accomplished super easy and quickly. There it is, headset, microphone, and of course none of this shows up on screen, even when you're using a 0.65 super wide angle like we're using right now. And as with the other setup, for a little help in low light situations, you can apply this little young new LED light. We need to make this angle as vertical as possible, for which you can use two of the lens caps that came with the original Picogen lens cover case, wrap them with tape until they look like an Oreo cookie, and place them right under here. And now we're going to use two pieces of this low profile 3M dual lock velcro, like yay big, apply them to each other, remove the cover, put it on the little LED light, remove the second cover and now place it onto the setup like this so you can reach the buttons. And now you have a little help in low light situations. And this is my iPhone 7 lightning only vlogging setup Mark II. So if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it is greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, should you feel like supporting the channel, definitely check out the video description, there might be some product links that are interesting for you. In any case, as always, 
Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon. Oh,